So guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild. Now, before we get into anything to do with this episode today, I wanted to make something very clear to everybody watching this video. For the past couple of days, guys, I've not been feeling so good. I think I've got a flu that's going around and it's been horrible. Like I've been waking up in cold sweats. I've been getting next to no sleep. I lost my voice. I've been getting migraines and everything else that comes with what you would know as a flu. And it feels like today is probably the worst day it's been. So I'm hopped up to my eyeballs on flu medicine, trying to power through this because I didn't want to miss this update. I've been waiting for it for so long. But today is the day. The jackrabbit is finally here. We've got a brand new animal in the game. And which also came with this update was a DLC weapon pack, but it's called weapon DLC pack one, which we're going to talk about a little bit more in the episode. And I don't want to waste any more time. I haven't seen them yet. So let's take a look at what we've got. So I believe from the notes, we've got different variants of a 22 semi-automatic rifle. So let's go to rifles. Where is this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's called the Virant. The Virant .22 LR Express. And there's a different variation of it. I'm actually quite surprised that this doesn't cost any in-game currency. I mean, I told you guys a while back that I was trying to save up as much money as possible so we could buy these things. I mean, they do look cool. I kind of like this one a little bit more. Accuracy 100, recoil 10, reload speed 49. That's a bit of a weird number for him to place in. And hip shot 86. Now, as far as I know, because I did try and catch up on all the dev streams that they did, I believe this is like probably the best rifle to use on the jackrabbit or one of the best things you can use for the jackrabbit because as far as i know i'm no expert guys when it comes to this i always try and take your advice from the comments this is a very low caliber if not one of the lowest in the game so i think this should be suited best for the jackrabbit which we are going to be testing out i just wanted to kind of get a look at it in the actual store so what was the other things that we got we got the two variants of the 22 or the 0.22 we also have a recurve bow Oh, we can, I can see the crossbows. Oh, I'm so happy that they've added this to the game. This put a smile on my face. So what have we got? We may as well check these out first then. The Crosspoint CB165 Arctic. Oh, that's going to look so sick in Medved. Look at that thing. That's a 100% Daryl Dix. Is that a rail? Why is there no scope on that? I'm pretty sure that's called a rail, where you actually mount a scope. We've got the... Classic? That's uh, just kind of a, a wood skin on the side of it. What's all this business on the back? I don't know too much about crossbows. I know there's a lot of people that have messaged me saying that they've got one of their own. But I don't know what this is. I may have to ask a few friends what this, this business is at the back. And then we've got the Dark Star variant. Or variation of the crossbow. I kind of like him. Is there any difference between the stats? Oh, there's another one. The Warden. That's a cool name. That's actually a really nice skin too. This would go well with the map that we're on today, Leighton Lake. I don't know, I kind of like that one though. It stands out a little bit. This has to be used in Medved. The cross point though, I don't know, there's something about this finish. Oh, this one. Although the dark, I don't know, I can't decide. Which one should I go for, guys? The cro the uh, the classic, the dark star, or the warden? I mean, I'm gonna test all of them out anyway, because it's just a skin variant, but I don't know. And it doesn't seem to be any difference in that mag size five. So it looks like, oh, arrows, what about that? Oh, they have. They've added different arrows, too. Small game point bolt. What else have we got? we got different broadheads. Oh, have they changed? No, it is. It's, it's, that's the different ones. That's the bolt version. Oh, that's the bolt. I know people get really triggered when people say arrows firing from a crossbow. I don't really care, but, I mean, I'm going to be very careful, I guess, as to not upset people. Make sure calling these things bolts and not arrows. I, I'll still make the mistake. You guys know me. What's this one? A 540 grain broadhead. Oh, this is for the recurve bow then. We still haven't seen that yet. Oh, look at these things. Penetration 90. 600 GR broadhead bolt. It's got a really cool color to it too. All right, so let's go back to bows then. So if we scroll down, okay, so here's the recurve bows. Oh, I really like the style of that. I didn't see too much in the dev streams of them using these. I saw like a quick glimpse of it, but I didn't actually get to see them using it what is that the hidden dragon oh that's so sick it's got it has it's actually got like a style of a dragon or a, a detail of a dragon on the bow 
I wish it was red, you know? The actual, uh, what do you call this bit? The bit you pull back. I told you guys I knew it was going to happen. The, the, the bit you pull back on the bow. That's the best description you could give. Well done. But you guys know what I mean. It's, it's going to happen more than once. Oh, there's more variations. The moonlight. Oh, that's kind of sick. You can see like a fine detail etched into that. What's this one? The snake skin. Oh, that's sick. That's so sick. That's my favorite up to now. Out of these two? Actually, I don't know. I really like that dragon detail on it. Why is the razor back at the very bottom? Has, the, has it changed? So we got the basic one for this. We got the hidden dragon. The moonlight. The moonlight is actually really cool too. You just can't see too much of the detail on it. Whenever it's dark colors like this, you can never really see too much of the detail. And there's the snake skin. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do for today, I really want to play with this. I wanted to play with the crossbow. No, I'm going to play with the crossbow. I've got to do it. Told you guys in the video, I wanted to be Daryl Dixon. We're going to be Daryl Dixon. Actually, I want to check something now. I've just said that. Where's the bow sights? Did they... Oh, there it is. So they did add it. Hawken crossbow scope. This premium scope is designed for crossbows shooting 300 feet per second and faster. With three duplex crosshairs, variable zoom setting. You can zoom with it. Okay, we need to try this. So I think for today's episode, guys, we're going to gear up with the crossbow, with this bad boy on top of it as well. Again, I'm really surprised that they didn't add like uh, in-game credits to actually buy this thing. Although it does cost money to actually get the DLC. I think just for everyone wondering if who hasn't seen it, it's $3.99, $3.99. And my equivalent to that would be, I think just under three pounds or two pounds something in the UK. So it's roughly around that pricing, which isn't expensive at all considering what we've just seen. So. Okay, I think I'm going to gear up and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're back. And it feels really weird. So I geared up with the crossbow. I did go for the classic one in the end. I don't know what it was. It was like that orangey brown color. It was popping to me. And I just thought we'd take that one out today. We're going to go through all different variants of the crossbow. But for now, we're going to go with this one. And I want to show you guys just how sick this thing looks. So here we go. Look at it. It doesn't even fit on the screen. And when you ADS with this, oh, by the way, you can see the actual scope on the crossbow now. How much cooler does that thing look with the scope on it? And look at the detail with like the cordage that's kind of wrapped around it. I've always said this whenever I play games. The fine details on things like this, they make a whole lot of difference when you're playing these type of games. So let's ADS. Here we go. Right click. Look at that. You actually see the character load the bolt onto the crossbow. Look at this. This just be, it feels so alien in this game, but I really like it. All right, let me just put it away for a second. Now, what you're going to notice in today's episode is something that I didn't see in the dev stream. I've put on the hints. So hopefully that the voice that we usually hear, or if you're new to the game, you still will hear it. If we go over there, some black tail. If you're new to the game, you'll still hear the hints and tips that the game actually gives you as cues to obviously what to do, where to go for animals and stuff. I've actually turned them on just in case it tells us anything new about the jackrabbit. Or if we come across a track that we haven't seen before, it might give us some cool information. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. White-tailed jackrabbit. A warning thump. Okay, I didn't get any indication from the tutorial or the hints. I don't actually know the name of the narrator's voice who does the hints. Never picked that up while I was playing the game. All right, let me put this away for a second. So we've got a warning thump from a jackrabbit. I also heard a deer. I don't know if it was a white tail or a black tail. I didn't see any indication or any vocalization from that. But there's definitely something up ahead. Let's grab the binoculars. I just want to see these things first before I start taking shots. No idea where it came from. And... To that effect, I have no idea what caller we used to bring them in. I didn't see anything in the dev stream. I honestly can't even think off the top of my head. I don't think there's anything that we would have to bring a jackrabbit in. Now, I do remember from the dev stream that these things were really difficult to spot. So, but, wait, is that it? Nope. Basically, what you want to look for is any movement around this area. But I don't know how these things react, so I'm just going to try and be as patient as possible. I'm completely visible right now, but that's not my biggest concern. I just want to see these things. just don't know how nervous they are. 
All right, I just had another warning call from a jackrabbit. This time it was female, and I can see tracks just behind this tree. I can't tell if they're deer tracks, though. They do look kind of big. From what I saw off the dev stream, they weren't massive, but they were definitely bigger than the normal sized rabbits. Let's see what these tracks are. No, I think they're deer tracks. Yeah, nothing. There's all kinds of tracks around this area, though. And this does look like an area where they would be. They're just going to be so difficult to spot. Oh, <gasps> wait. There we go. Okay, so that's a white-tailed jackrabbit. God, that's going to trip me up so much. I'm just going to refer to them as jackrabbits. Unless they put a different variation of the animal in the game. This one's a minor, and it's a male. All right, let's see what kind of range we've got on the crossbow then. Right, let's zoom in. Okay, I'm going to have to get this down pretty quick in terms of, like, where the crossbow fires. Let's just try and fire center and see where that goes. Okay, we got it. Nice. Okay, first shot. Jackrabbit down. I do want to get a look at this thing. Because I could have swore they were bigger than that. But this is no joke, guys. Like, since I was down there before in that first tree, a solid 12 minutes later, that's how long it's taken me to find one. So it, these things are no joke. You've really got to have patience in order to find them. They're not just going to stumble or crush you. I mean, they might do in a very rare circumstance when you see a group of them. Oh, look at that. You can see the... the uh, there we go. I said the arrow. Oh, no. I meant the bolt. But look at them. They're definitely bigger. They're really cool looking too. There's a lot of detail on them. I would call this, as far as what I thought, think this looks like to me, is like a hare. That's the closest thing I'm pointing out to what this animal looks like. I really love how you can see the bolt going through it as well. Good shot. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. We got flesh, right lung. So as far as I can tell, I think the trophy type with the jackrabbit is down to its weight. I don't know if this is just coincidence, but the weight that I have for this rabbit is 4.89 kilograms. And the trophy rating was 4.9. I think that's right in what I'm saying there. Quick kill bonus 100. Integrity bonus 0. And we're using right now the 420 broadhead bolt. So I need to go lower than that to retain integrity for this animal. That's really interesting to know. And of course, it starts raining. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? All right, I think what I'm going to do then real quick, at least we got to see one straight off the get-go. I think I'm going to... What's this? Oh. There's a coyote near me too. It's down. We got it. I didn't manage to bring a coyote in, but I don't know if you guys can hear this. Oh, look, there's loads of them. Those things are so quick. All right, where's mine gun? I was hearing, like, a really weird walk pattern. It's the best way I can describe it to you guys. And I thought it was a coyote trying to come in really subtle, but it turns out it was this guy. I got a headshot on him, too. Okay, 5 point... Well, okay, so it is down to weight. So 5.17 kilograms, 5.1 trophy rating. Okay, so we definitely need to lower which bolts we're using. But I think I've got the, the actual accuracy of the crossbow down now. At least I think, guys, it might go wrong a little bit later on in the episode. But I'm happy with that. Okay, so two jackrabbits. They do look really cool, too. It's so weird. Like, when you're so used to the game, and you hear a noise which is so different that you haven't heard before. Oh, okay, so they do have need zones and stuff. So I decided not to go back to the outpost. I just wanted to keep going south. One, just to see if I could find any more animals to test the crossbow on. And two, there's been a coyote that's basically been doing the same path as me. Just a little bit further down that way. I mean, you'll probably hear it in a second, but I was wondering this too. When they introduced the jackrabbit, were they going to add things like rest zones and feed zones and stuff? I've just found that back there. So it's good to know. I mean, at least you can find areas where they'll be. But I can't tell you guys just how cool it is to have the crossbow in the game. Like, this is exactly what I imagined when I was talking to you guys about being like Daryl Dixon. I mean, just imagine this. And again, I'm gonna say it again, imagine if there's mods for this game. There were zombies in this environment and you had this crossbow. Look at that. Headshot, zombie down. I mean, we're gonna have to settle for the animals, but I'm not complaining. It just feels so cool. All right, I'm gonna see if I can catch up to this coyote. I'm gonna keep heading south because I do want to try the crossbow on different animals too. And I want to find more of a specific area where I can find the jackrabbits too. So when I want to get things like the integrity bonus and 
consecutive harvest bonus and get basically better trophies with the jackrabbit, then at least I know where to go to. Oh, there you are. Okay, so I thought I heard a white tail a second ago, and it turns out that I did. There she is, female. Right, I just want to try and bring her in because I want to see what this crossbow does to a deer. Let's see if we can get her coming in this general direction. She's going to go right across where the wind's blowing, and then she's going to freak out. Come over this way. I didn't bring out any scent eel him either. It's going to be pretty tricky to bring this one in. Where you at, dear? We're going to make this happen quick before my meds wear off. I'm full of the flu. Also known as the zombie virus. I don't have time. That was cool. The animation where it kind of showed the... Uh, oh, there she is. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. The power that was behind that shot was insane. And it's so deceiving too because there's just no noise from this. Okay, so we got full integrity with that as well. So with the 420 broadhead bolts, you get full integrity on a white-tailed deer. Okay, nice. That's good to know. And we're up to 80% consecutive, consecutive harvest now. I'm tripping over my words, guys. Okay, so about 30 feet in front of us, you guys won't be able to see her yet. We've got a female white tail, but I've just been following those tracks because they belong to a male moose. And I think I've just seen him disappear over there somewhere. I think I have my moose collar on me, so it might be worth trying to bring him in. I did bring the more powerful bolts out with me as well. Let's make another call. I think she's got lost. I've just noticed, though, <laughs> while I was walking, the animation when you're carrying the crossbow. Oh, there's another one coming in. The animation when you're carrying the crossbow, it almost looks like your character's got a limp. Okay, I've never seen that before. That looked almost like a reload animation. Either I didn't pay attention, or I'm so full of the flu that I just didn't see it before. Alright, we've got another whitetail over there. I'm going to try and bring another one in. Although the pressure in the area might be getting bad, it's still worth trying to bring another one in. That deer should take me to 100%, and then if I follow those tracks right there, that should lead me to that male moose that I thought I saw. Right, I'm going to sit tight for a second, see if we can bring this other female in, and I'll show you guys that weird animation limp, or at least what I think looks like the character's got a limp. Okay, so I got the first... Oh, there it is. Okay, is that the male? I was just about to say to you guys, I heard a moose coming in. Okay, that's a female. That's not the one I'm after. Although, if I could bait that female to come in a little bit closer, I could switch my bolts from the 420s to, I think it's the 600s. Let's see if we could take that moose down. Yep, that's her again. There's definitely a male in the area too, though. I'd love to be able to see what we could do to a male. Is that something else over there? Got another moose. There's something behind that one. Seen anything else? There's another one. There's the male. Okay, it's only a minor. I mean, I'm still going to go for it. I'm just thinking in terms of trophy type. I'm going to see if I can bring you in, though. If you're wondering about the deer, I did collect the first one that we took down. We got ourselves back up to 100% consecutive harvest. The second one that came in, I don't think I got a clean shot. As you can see, there is a bleed. I just don't know where she went to. I don't know if it's worth following if I can bring this moose in. I don't have anything else on me apart from the crossbow. And I purposely did that so I'd be able to test myself a little bit. Alright, let me get in this bush. Let me see if I can bring her in. I'm going to see if I've got the collar on me. Alright guys, so some good news. I had the moose collar on me so I could make some calls. The bad news is, the female that I wanted to bring in, as soon as she started paying attention to the calls, a few more came in. And then I started to look around a little bit and you can see. There's a fairly decent sized male over there, but I don't think he's going to come in close enough. I mean, I've been in these situations before where I've literally been sat in a bush just like this for around a solid 20 minutes. And then they decide to come in. It all depends if the planets align for everything to be perfect for this. I mean, by no means is that like the biggest moose I've seen. I would just like to test the crossbow on a fairly decent sized male like that to see what kind of damage we do. Especially the 600s that I've just switched out to. Oh wait, it looks like he might be coming in. Yeah, I think he's interested. 
But I think one of these females might spook, which might cause the male to run off. Right, we've just got to take a shot just to see what this thing does. Okay, a good chest shot. That was with a 600 too. Let's see if she goes down. Still got eyes on. Okay, that's the male. Is that the female? No. Nope, that wasn't it. I think she might have gone down. There's this horrible haze in the game that I'm seeing more often now. I don't know if you guys are noticing this. Alright, that was a fairly decent hit. Alright, where did she run off to? I think she went down. When I switched out to get the binoculars, I think she dropped. But yeah, there's this, this weird, horrible haze. I know you get this in places around the world. I mean, I have, I have seen it before, but I just wish you could take it out of the game. Because it makes everything a lot more difficult. And I don't think it adds anything to Call of the Wild. I don't know. That's just me. You guys may feel different. Oh, yeah, she's down. All right, what do we get with that? Look at the penetration of these bolts as well. I mean, if you wonder what that means, by the way, if you're new to Call of the Wild, I always like to do this for any new players. The penetration is basically how deep it penetrates into the animal. So you can see we've gone through one side all the way through and it penetrated all the way to that back organ, which is stomach, intestines, left lung. So we've got a lot of crucial organs there with just a bolt. All right, let's keep looking around then. I spent quite a little bit of time in that bush waiting for the moose to come in. So we'll keep moving on. We'll see if we can get a few more animals. I think I might switch back to the 420 broadheads. Is that male still over there? See, I knew, I knew not bringing a rifle was a mistake. But we're testing the crossbow, so let's keep doing it. Okay, so I've noticed something with the crossbow. I'm going to show you guys. I've been aiming with the wrong dot. It's actually the top red dot. So don't be deceived by thinking it's the middle one like I did. Alright, that was a good hit. Should be a good area of the vitals. Yeah, she's not happy with that. She's moving away down there. But I've also noticed something really weird with the game. Since I've taken out those last two moose, which was kind of mid-map over there, the only things that I've seen from then on are moose. <laughs> There's no other animals. Like, in between me having coughing fits and, like, trying to drink up some more medicine, all I'm hearing is moose. Like, you can see this. Look, there's another one. Let me see if I can bring you in. I mean, I'm not complaining because I definitely did want to test the crossbow on bigger animals. But <laughs> at the same time, I would like a variety of animals. So bear, the deer. I tried to bring some coyotes in, but I just had no luck with them today. But again, I'm not going to grumble. If Daryl Dixon was in this situation, I'm sure he wouldn't grumble at the amount of food that one of these would give. Wait, see, I'm debating whether or not I should take a look. You know what? Just for testing purposes, I'm going to take a long shot. Let's see if we can hit. Nope. Oh, wait, that hit. Do you guys see that? There was like a delay. And I'm assuming that's going to be a really poor shot. There's one. Okay, right. This is what we're going to do. I did bring the right ammo this time, so you're not going to get away from me, Jackrabbit. Or at least I'm going to use the right ones. Don't... Oh my god! Wait, there's another one. Got it. Okay, so we should get full integrity on this with the smaller arrows. Is there another one over there? There's some more behind the tree. You've got to be so careful with them. I had no idea they were that fast. I mean, I saw how quick they scurried away before. Yeah, there's some more coming in. That purple bolt looks so cool. Yep, we kept integrity with that. There they are. Okay, there's a few of them. It took me a little bit of time to track these guys down. As soon as I scared the other bunch, they just moved off. I think I'm just going to go for this one. There we go. We got it. And there we go. The rest of them just scarper off. All right, at least I managed to get it. I didn't think I was going to manage to keep up or catch up to them at the end. They were just moving so fast. You live to see another day, Moose. Okay, so we got ourselves another silver. I can't be mad with that. First day of the animals being out, we're just taking a look at them, experimenting with the new weapon, grabbed ourselves two silvers, and a crap ton of moose. 
Honestly, guys, the amount of editing that I'm going to have to do so I don't subject you guys to listening to this horrible cough that I've got is going to be insane. So I am going to wrap things up. I very briefly want to talk about the update because it was primarily about the jackrabbit and I think that things like this are welcome to Call of the Wild because it gives the players more variety, more to choose from and the more that they add to different maps, not just specifically one map but different maps like Hirschfelden and Medved and who knows, maybe sometime in the future a brand new reserve too I think it's going to be definitely helpful for the game but it's going to keep the players playing Call of the Wild, which is very important in this day and age, especially for a game like this. You guys can already hear my voice going. Second to that would be the Weapon DLC. I didn't really say it in this episode, but this Weapon DLC is called Weapon DLC Pack 1, which hopefully is a good sign that they're going to add more down the line, being 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So, I mean, you make your judgment on what you thought about the crossbow today. I loved it. I got to feel like Daryl Dixon, which is always cool in my books. But let me know what you think in the comments below. In the next few episodes, guys, I'm probably going to stack up the 22 or the .22 LR semi-automatic with the recurve bow, if I got that right. I think a good mix between those two to kind of see comparisons will be a nice episode. But for this one, I just wanted to see the crossbow. I might check out a different variation of the skin as well while we're at it in that episode. So... I think I'm going to wrap up, guys. I'm going to get some more flu medicine. I hope you enjoyed the episode, seeing the brand new animals, taking a look at the crossbow. I'm so sorry if I'm not normal, not the normal booster or videos you're used to, but I at least wanted to get a video out to you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.